What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. And we have, or I have a special treat for you guys so because playing. I'm going to be playing with one of my favorite characters to play that a lot of people just forgot about or just don't play because he has such a hard time of getting in on people in this game. But I'm taking the bullet right to the butt cheek, just like Forrest Gump. And I am playing player matches. Now, the only reason that I'm playing player matches is because I want to show off the ability of my legendary gear, which gives me an air dash. That's literally the only reason because unlike in MK11, in this game, gear stats actually count online. <laughs> so it makes it really unfun because it completely changes the, ga the game. So a player who might not be on your same level, if they have way better stats than you, Begin. will not only even the playing field, but they will definitely beat your ass. Whoops. But as you guys see, I have a sick air dash, and the animation is awesome too. tree trunk oh let's go got him with the cross up all right he's not blocking <laughs> don't worry I will go to ranked uh, and play with swamp thing but Ooh, who said I can't play Injustice 2? Ow. Damn it. He's caught onto my shenanigans. Alright. I'll, I'll anti air you. Oh, you can't move. Uh, he's not supposed to be able to move. <laughs> My air dash gives me the mobility yes, needed to compete in this game. Role. Wouldn't it be cool if Swamp Thing had that air dash, like just as his, in his default like tool set? That would be so sick. Ooh, that was so close. I oh, screwed up. Oh my god, that was ambiguous. What? How the hell did that miss? That guy just got whiffed, punished. All right. It looks like our stats are pretty pretty equal. This is actually my Swamp Thing class where I don't really have stats. I just picked it because of the look. I got that bald head action. I got that receding hairline, man. I got that donut action. Gorilla Grog, Robin. Right. Let's go to this one now. Something. I think this one's my favorite one. My class number two is probably my favorite one. But let's see what the uh, what the gear stats look like. If I play somebody who... Oh, my God. Okay, so this is going to be a perfect example right here. This guy has 4,000 strength, almost 3,000 ability. And 3,000 defense. And look at my stats. None of them go over 2,400, I think. Ooh, hello. Damn. Ow, he got tired of my shit. Look at all this damage, guys. Off one combo. Backdash here. Ah, shouldn't use that. Shit. Whoa!
Oh, that doesn't work. That's right. Oh my god. I should have just kept on going with it. You lost before we even started. Oh damn, I missed my jump in or my uh anti. Shit. How the hell did that not do it? I need to... I was gonna say, I need to get hit on purpose, but not with a forward three. <laughs> I need to get hit on purpose so I could clash. Because I'm taking so much damage. But as you guys see, gear stats really make a player who would not be a problem. And this guy was not a problem at all before. With And it, it sort of evens out the playing field a little bit. Mo mostly it puts it in their favor because any touch all right see as you guys see like he's used to doing like he he's used to like getting one touch and getting a lot of damage That's why he's not really blocking, because I'm not doing much damage to him. Oh, anti-air. Oh my god, one combo. Wow. <laughs> Even the playing field with the gear set. That's why I'm so happy. That was one of like the biggest changes f that everyone wanted for MK11. And I'm very happy that gear stats do not count towards or augments or anything like that. Do not count towards uh, online. Ah, damn it. Give myself a little bit of health at least. Okay, at least I have uh, two bars, so I'll be able to get a little bit of health back if he decides to spend his meter. Okay, only got 15% health back. What? Oh no. Fuck! Oh, I forgot he has it. It's alright, I, uh, I have meters. This mountain is not moving. Yeah, let's go, baby. Woo! Even with all that gear stats, I still beat this guy's ass. Let's go. Man, the work you have to put in player matches when you don't actually have 
a lot of gear stats is a uh, is a biatch. <laughs> All right, let's play one more here, and then we're gonna go to like actual rank matches and get some Begin. get some good games in. That's too bad that they don't turn. Uh, they don't turn around. You know what I mean? Oh, you're not blocking that. Oh no, I I did the wrong move. I did his slow ass overhead. Damn, this guy's on crack. Put him in the corner. Don't whiff in front of my face or you're going to get punished, bitch. Do not whiff that in front of my face. Yep, of course. Of course that's how you're going to get your damage. attack with jump two <laughs> my goodness Ugh! oh I had it. I had the read, but at the same time, I didn't because he didn't do it. All this fucking damage that I have to do to this character. Wow. Oh, he has that one. I thought he was just going to do his regular super. That one's unblockable. I could have easily uh, avoided it by just doing my special moves. from far away oh let's go and that's it you are out of here Robin you are out of here that's enough for the legendary gear for Swamp Thing. Don't worry, I will play more with Swamp Thing. I'm just going to play him in an actual normal environment where I don't have to take 80% of the time in the match actually taking my opponent down 20%, 15% at a time. Normally, Swamp Thing actually does pretty good damage. Around 35 to 42%, 43% on every touch, every combo. Because the launcher and the command grab do a, a good amount of damage. But when you have gear stats turned on, say goodbye to all that. But like I said, the biggest improvement of MK11 from Injustice 2 is that Netherrealm took away the ability for gear stats to be affected online. 
or the gameplay to be affected by gear stats online. Damn. Am I glad that doesn't happen in MK11 because that's all I play pretty much player matches. So I would be fucked. We would all be fucked because that's where you could play the uh, custom variations. But anyway, that's going to be the end of today's video. Just wanted to show off the legendary swan thing before I actually take him online to ranked and playing normally where I'm probably going to struggle getting in on people. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.